How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at using runnables and doing some scheduling. And now this is probably one of the most popular things um, that I find that people want to learn about because they're very, very useful uh, for when you want things to either repeat, to be delayed, and so on and so forth. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is make sure not to skip around on this video or you guys could miss some code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. And lastly, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. Uh, so make sure to go check that out. Link in the description also will be on screen sometime now or even before this. Um, but we're going to head right here into our tutorial class. Now we're only going to be using our tutorial class for this one. Uh, we don't really need to do anything uh, in particular. So you can do a couple things. Um, like I said, we can... Well, first let's just make a, a, a new constructor here. So let's just call public, public void runnable. And now you can call this whatever you want. I just like to call it things that um, make sense. And then we just want to go ahead and say new bucket runnable open bracket close bracket and then we're going to import that control shift o and then we're going to hover over it we're going to add on implement and methods so what we want to do in this is we are going to let's just have it uh let's uh let's have it so it's going to set um Oops, I am banned. Unban. Ban to be sick. Unban. How do you unban? Uh, all right. Let's just uh, world. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't even know where. Where is ban? Ban players. There we go. Ban. Reload. Reload. I didn't even know I was banned. It must have been from the last episode. I must have never unbanned myself. You banned from the server. I just uh, uh, okay. Hold on. Let's let's try this again. All right. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do this now. I'm pretty sure my UUID is banned, um, so we might not be able to get back on. But while we're waiting for that, so what we're going to do in this runnable is we're just going to have it get and set a custom name for all of the mobs. On, on the server so we can we're going to do this as a delayed task and every few seconds or every second it's going to go ahead and update their name but now the main thing with using runnables is you don't want to do it on the main thread so you don't want to do um here like if we start typing we can do run task later we don't want that okay we want to do run task later asynchronously and now you can't do certain things asynchronously like i believe you can't like spawn in mobs asynchronously and like get certain values asynchronously um, but we always want to do everything asynchronously. So we're going to actually just go ahead and say uh, we are going to run task timer asynchronously. So what this is going to do is this is going to run a repeating task every time that we set the task to repeat. So for the first line here where it says plugin, um, since we're in our main class, we can just go ahead and say this. And then for the delay, we don't want any delay for when this first uh, initiates. And then we want it to happen every 10, well, every half a second, right? So a tick is or so 20 ticks is one second so we want to have it happen every half a second can i join now yay there we go so let's go ahead and get some mobs here so we can go ahead and make sure this works um let's get some chickens there we go all right so what we want to go ahead and say is we want to say for entity uh, actually let's go ahead and say living entity because that's what we want to get e equals this dot get server oops can't say this because we're in a runnable so we're going to say uh get server dot get world and we'll just do world string world for now um we could go ahead and do player but i don't really want to mess with that so for all the living entity oh so get world dot get living entities there we go let's go ahead and import that so basically what we're doing here is we're looping through all the entities in the world world right all the living entities so an entity technically that is an entity right uh, but it's not living and we want only the living entities 
Um, there's a couple other things that classify as entities like boats and uh, arrows and stuff like that. Um, so we only want anything that's living. So it's only going to be mobs and um, like animals. So then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say e dot set custom name and it's going to be e dot get type plus and then we'll go ahead and say check color dot uh, dark gray plus um, an open uh, bracket there plus check color dot red this is going to be a really really long line plus e dot get health plus uh, this and we want a dash here but we don't want that to be that color so we're going to do this easy and just use that sign there and just do alt 2 1 and it's going to give you this little symbol here uh, well this little symbol and that's how you can do color codes the quick way um, because I just I just we don't want to spend a whole lot of time making this huge line of this huge string here oh my eclipse is not responding there we go uh, okay so we want plus e dot get max health that might be deprecated yeah that it deprecated but that's okay we can still use it um, it's riskier to use things that are deprecated but for this case we can just go ahead and use it for now then we're gonna go ahead and say plus and eight close bracket all right so what we need to do here is we need to throw in a text block there all right so what's going to happen and now we need to throw this into our on enable here so when the server starts this runnable is going to go ahead and start with it and reload so there you go so well maybe we should use a different color there let's uh let's get rid of this text block here let's go ahead and use and seven let's go er, and four we use and four and four and we could set the mobs name as a different color um, but we don't want to do that we also want to go ahead and do e set custom name visibility to true so that way we can always see no you don't have to set it to this i just like having the names visible all the time and so now for all the mobs on the server it's going to Oh, I have auto jump turned on. I did not realize that. So for all the mobs on the server now, what it's going to do is every second it's going to update their health. You can see there it's not completely instant. We can make this more instant. We can go ahead and just go ahead and just put in a one there. So every tick it's going to do this. And now since we're running it asynchronously, um, it's not as bad to do it this often, but we don't really need to do it. So you could do it like five um, if you wanted it to be almost an instant update. But like I said, um, we, we probably don't need that. And uh, honestly, um, updating it every second could be enough, um, unless you're trying to do something where it's like super, you want it to be super, super accurate. So every time they get punched, um, it's going to be exactly, exactly that, right? So you could totally do that. Um, but now we're gonna go over a few other ones here, just, just for now. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to change this to, Let's make a new runnable here because I, I kind of like this runnable. I think it's uh, kind of nifty here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to change this to runnable delayed. And let's go ahead and remove all of that. And let's get rid of that deprecation. And then we're going to do go ahead and do run task later. Right? So we'll go again, plugin equals this. And our delay we're going to have as 40 ticks or two seconds. And what this is going to do is this is just going to go ahead and do uh, git server dot broadcast broadcast message. Uh, we'll just do check color dot red plus server has started or something or server yeah server has started and let's change that to dot green looks good so we're not using this one as a um an asynchronous like i said you don't have to do all of them async um you're only going to want to do things async that involve a lot of updating um which this in particular doesn't oh we didn't add this into our main here 
Um, so like something like this broadcast message here, this doesn't use a lot. It's not really server intensive and it doesn't use a lot of resources. Um, so you wouldn't really have to um, worry about doing something like that asynchronously. It doesn't mean that you can't. Um, I mean, I would still advise to just get in the habit of doing everything async unless you can, unless you actually get an error saying this can't be run asynchronously or there was an error uh, creating a player async or something like that. Um, but most times you should run it async. And I know I, I keep saying that, um, but just get used to doing things asynchronously. Um, but as you can see there, we got the broadcast message there. And, and now uh, there's not really a main difference between running something asynchronously and um, regular. Um, it's going to perform out the same exact way. It's just not going to be on the main thread of the server, um, which is what you want. Um, like, especially like I have an arrow trails um, plugin that I'm working on and uh, I have that I have an, an async delay test that runs um, well task timer sorry that runs every tick so every tick when somebody shoots an arrow it puts a particle effect with it now something like that you definitely want to do asynchronously because what's gonna happen is it's gonna get the location of all of the arrows on the server all of the arrows on the server and it's going to add particle effects to them so something like that you definitely want um, to be async. And now I just want to show you here um, with the whole you know set health thing. Um, we can go ahead and actually you know do a splash potion of healing, and it's going to heal them right back. And you can see their name updates. So if you're looking to make like an RPG plugin or something like that, that is how you're going to get um, you know player or the the health bars there and their names or something like that if you guys want that. But that is all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. And lastly, make sure to follow me on Twitter and you guys can just go ahead and tweet at me and join my Discord. I don't talk about it enough, but join my Discord. Link is in the description. And I just quickly want to go over one last time what we did in this video. So basically we created a new constructor called Runnable. And in this Runnable, we, create, we had a new bucket Runnable. And now what I want to tell you with something like this, you can actually cancel this. So you can go ahead and say this.cancel. So if you're running something, you can actually perform a check. So you can say like if, uh, if E equals null, you can go ahead and cancel that event or you can cancel this Runnable or if you know something happens, you can cancel it. Um, also, you can go ahead and give uh, this Runnable a name. I want to say it's an integer, maybe not. Uh, bucket task, sorry, bucket task. And then you can go on later in your code, like here, and I can say i.cancel. Um, all depends how you want to do it. Um, it doesn't really matter in particular. Um, but yeah, so we created a new runnable and we did a task timer asynchronously. So we did a repeating task that sets the custom name for all the mobs on the server. So once again, that's all I got for you guys and thanks for watching.